Hey everyone, I'm Sandy and I'm in the kitchen with Pampered Chef. I'm going to show you how you can take some simple shortcuts by prepping ingredients at the start of the week to make three very different recipes during the week. Some of you may know that I'm a registered dietitian and a food trend innovator at Pampered Chef, but I'm also a mom with a family to take care of. So that's why having a plan for nutritious meals is so important to me. Now we covered meal planning in an earlier episode where we cooked a bunch of food at the start of the week for fun mix and match meals throughout the week. But now we're gonna talk about taking shortcuts to prep common ingredients at the start of the week for three very different recipes that'll satisfy your schedule, your wallet, and your taste buds. Preparing in the kitchen is just like preparing for anything in life. If you don't have a plan, you're more likely to hit the drive through or order takeout. My tip is to plan for three recipes throughout the week instead of all of them. This way you can plan for some spontaneity or flexibility with your week. Now the recipes I chose take about 30 minutes to make, but by prepping ahead, you can cut that time in half. Choose recipes that have similar ingredients. Today I'm gonna prep onions, cabbage, and carrots. Now these are ingredients I know my family will like. The benefit of prepping your produce up front helps ensure that you get enough fruit and veggies in your recipes throughout the week. Now these ingredients are gonna go into the General So chicken stir fry, seven layer Tex-Mex salad, and the barbecue chicken coleslaw wraps. I'm gonna show you how to prep and store these ingredients to save time and maintain freshness. Now the big time saver here is using the quick prep food grater to batch prep your food. It makes slicing and grating your food so fast and easy. I'm gonna start by slicing an onion. I'm gonna put in my onion, root side up. Now this ensures that the onion holds together while you're slicing it. Now you can go ahead and remove the root from the storage container. To store my onions, I'm gonna put them in a leak-proof storage container with a little bit of paper towel down at the bottom. This is gonna help absorb any extra moisture. So next I'm gonna slice my cabbage. The same rule applies, you wanna keep the root end up. I love how fast it slices cabbage. Imagine doing all of that by hand. Now I just gave this a quick rinse before I'm gonna grate my carrots. So first I have to switch out my blade. I'm gonna use a hand tile to hold the blade in place. Hold it in place and rotate the handle counterclockwise to release the blade. Also use a towel to put the blade in. You can look down and see it aligning with the handle and then turn it clockwise. You don't wanna over tighten it too much. It'll continue to tighten as you're grating food. I'm gonna go ahead and use the food pusher and take out the insert. use a scraper and turn the handle a few times to get all that extra carrot out of the blade. Just a few times I'll do the trick. Now for carrots, I'm going to store them with a damp paper towel so that they don't get dried out. So that's it for my batch prepping. But if you have recipes that call for cheeses, like mozzarella or cheddar, or even things like zucchini or sweet potato, this is a great tool to help you batch prep those as well. So now I'm ready to make the barbecue chicken coleslaw wraps. I have a great marinade right here that the chicken is in. It's got smoky barbecue rub, apple cider vinegar, some brown sugar. It adds some really nice tang to this recipe, and I saved some for the coleslaw. So I'm gonna put my pre-prepped onions right in there with the chicken and marinade. Just give it a quick toss. And then I've got my double burner grill pan preheating for about three to five minutes with the grill press. I'm gonna put my onions on one side of the pan. And then I'll put my chicken tenders on the other side, the grill press. It's already smelling good. We'll go ahead and give those a turn in a couple minutes. Now we'll work on the slaw that'll go into the wraps. This is the rest of my marinade. 
And then I have my cabbage and my carrots. This is really the best part of the recipe, in my opinion. It gives it all the color and the crunch and the great flavor with the slaw. I'm gonna save the rest of my cabbage for my other recipes. Same with my carrots. Okay, I'm gonna check on my chicken. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and grate my apple into the bowl with the rest of the coleslaw. Now I'm grating my apple the day of I'm making my recipe because apples can brown if you store them a couple days already pre-grated. And plus this is so easy to do the day of. Okay. Look at how pretty this slaw is. A good rule of thumb is to start your protein at the start of the recipe, since it usually takes the longest. Or you can batch prep it on the weekend with your other ingredients. So now that I have all my food ready, it's time to assemble. I have my tortillas out, I have my colorful slaw, and then I made a quick sauce of just some low-fat mayo, pepper, and lemon juice. This is gonna add some nice creaminess to this tangy recipe. Then I have my chicken and my onions. So this is how I would do it at home. I would lay my tortillas out, Put a little bit of the sauce over each tortilla. Next, we'll do the slaw. Want to make sure you put enough on each tortilla so when you roll it up, you see all those beautiful colors and you get that crunch. Next, I'm going to do my onions. And this is a quicker way of doing it than doing one at a time. And then you're all done and everybody can sit and eat. Okay, and then your chicken. It's about one to two tenders per each. Now we're ready to roll it up. I'm gonna cut it in half. Look how pretty. So now you can see how batch prepping during the week can help save you time and money, all while helping you get more fresh produce into your diet. The key is to pick three recipes with similar ingredients and prep those up front. If you like this video and want to see more in the kitchen, hit subscribe. See you next time.